passionate, she's fun, and she's inspiring. Let's welcome our host, Kimberly, from Entrepreneur's Rocket Fuel Web Summit, and a warm welcome to you. Thanks for joining us, and we've got an exciting guest coming right up. Kimberly, take it away. Hey folks, it's Kimberly Hobshide with Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel and the Passive Income Web Summit. I'm excited. We have Michael Mansell here with us today. Um, Michael is was on my last Web Summit and did a phenomenal job talking about affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is one of the greatest ways to make income without actually being the one performing the work afterwards because you're promoting other people's programs. And I was like, Michael is perfect for our Passive Income Web Summit. And we're talking about ways and strategies that you can make income or you can set up a passive income stream in the next 60 days during COVID or whenever while we're all a little bored and watching Netflix, stop watching Netflix, start creating passive income streams. And then when we get back to work, back to travel, we will have these income streams set up and ready to go so that we can make money after we go back. All right. Welcome to the program, Michael. Thank you very much, Kimberly. Thanks for having me back on. Super glad to have you here. Okay, great. So um, tell us a little bit about how you got into affiliate marketing and how it became a thing for you personally, and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Yeah, it was um, kind of out of just not, I wouldn't say boredom, but kind of because I, was, I built a pretty successful website development company uh, over about seven year period. And this was back in 2016. And I was just sitting there thinking, you know, I'm making a little bit of money here and there. I've always done a little bit of affiliate marketing for a long time, 10 plus years, uh, but never really took it seriously. It was always just something like, oh, I can make a few hundred bucks here, a thousand bucks there. Just, you know, I, I knew the concept of affiliate marketing. And so it was the idea that I already knew there, but then I really took a serious look at it in 2016 and thought, I wonder if I can go full time with this and then go on and actually teach other people how to do that because I was really getting a little bit bored with the whole website development side of it. And I was building a lot of sales funnels and marketing systems for other companies that went on to make millions of dollars. And I thought, why, why am I not building those systems for myself? So that's kind of how I got started in it initially, which just kind of thought, you know, what I'm doing is kind of boring and I like to do something on a bigger scale. Yeah, I like it. And I like that when you do affiliate marketing, you can work with multiple partners that you can have multiple offers out there. And that those people can then be doing great customer service, great delivery, but then you actually are promoting other people's programs as well. Um, and developing those affiliate relationships because people have built the know, like, and trust of you, Michael. And they're like, all right, if Michael says that this is a good program, we know he's researched it. We know it's a good program. We know it's got depth to it. It's got legs to it. We're excited about it. And uh, uh, and we can, you know, we can trust that it's going to be a good program, but then you aren't actually doing the delivery. You're just promoting for other people who are doing the delivery. Right. And maybe we should just clarify that really quickly because there's a lot of people out there that either have a misconception of affiliate marketing or don't even know what affiliate yeah. marketing is. And that's kind of why I established last year, my company affiliate marketing pros, because a lot of people have dabbled in it. They've tested it. They might've done something here and there, but they don't get the bigger picture of why it's so powerful and you've briefly touched on it there in terms of being able to market other people's programs, products, services, you name it. If, if, they, if a company sells something and they have an affiliate program set up, you can literally monetize whatever service or product they deliver. You are just basically the traffic director that directed traffic. You're basically the advertising front end for that product or service and you get a percentage of whatever sales come in there. And there's a lot of more intricate details beyond that, but that's kind of the basics of it. But like you said, we get to market a lot of different programs and products at once. And, and there's just, there's literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of affiliate products out there that anybody could pick up and start marketing. Yeah, I think um, when I met you, actually, Michael and I met because we were on a cruise together and yeah. we were just hanging out and talking and we were talking about um, our different strengths and weaknesses and people do have different strengths and weaknesses. There are people out there who are really, really great at doing courses or delivering content or, uh, or teaching on one particular subject or another. And none of us are good at all of it, right? But some of those people who are really good at delivering exceptional content don't want to stop and start learning about marketing. They don't want to stop and start learning about how to build a list or how to grow their, you know, their marketing engine or anything like that. There are other people who are really good at growing a marketing engine and don't necessarily want to deliver a product or multiple products and services, but they want the multiple products and services available to their audience. Right. Well, and there's a, there's a key concept in that is 
third party validation. When you get somebody outside of the company saying, yeah, that's a good product. Yeah, that's a good service. That's a good business opportunity, whatever the affiliate program is, that is a much more powerful marketing standpoint for a company than them tooting their own horn, if you will, and standing up and saying, hey, we're, we're the best product. We're the best service. You should buy our product. If they can get, you know, everyday people, quote unquote, business people, other people outside of the company that are not employees, that are not owners, saying, hey, you guys should check this out, doing reviews, doing YouTube videos on them, writing blog articles, all that stuff generates a lot of third party validation for other companies' products and services. And people, it's proven, I mean, in the, in the split testing, in the uh, surveys, it's proven that if a company can get outside people to promote their product, they're more likely to sell their products. Fascinating. So it's actually better for the company as well to do affiliate marketing. So if you have a product or service and you're not leveraging affiliates to market your program for you, you're doing yourself and your own program a disservice and you're not making the reach that you should be making in the world to make the impact that you're wanting to make. Uh, yeah. Really good point. Uh, very much like this web summit, there are people that are speakers on this web summit that I have worked with for months or years and I absolutely love how they show up in the world. They're very heart forward. They have their, you know, they, they have their intentions in the right place. Michael, of course, is one of them. And, um, and I love his program. I'm going to let, let you talk a little bit about affiliate marketing pros uh, because a lot of people don't know about affiliate marketing. And when Michael and I started talking, he was like, well, I've got this program and it teaches this and this and this and this and this. And I'm like, my people need to know about that. That's amazing. That program is absolutely fantastic. What can I do to get the word out about who you are and what you do? And so he's been on a web summit of mine. I've actually promoted his products to my, my group um, and, and really brought him to the folks that I know to say, this is an amazing product or service. So with that third party endorsement, Michael, I'll let you take there you it. Go. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about AMP and, and what it does uh, for the community. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I operated under my own name for about three years and that grew very, very quickly because whenever you can put your name and your face and your personality to your company and your product, you can grow and scale very quickly. And that's one of my biggest recommendations to anybody that's just starting out in affiliate marketing is that you really connect with who you are as a marketer, with your audience, as a person first. But then about a year ago, actually on, a, on the same cruise, it was a different cruise last year, but the same uh, marketers cruise we were both on together. My wife and I kind of started brainstorming and thinking, you know, we've grown and built this company up very large and helping people all over the world learn how to become affiliate marketers. We should really now brand ourselves and create an organized group and company uh, that we can really create a structured system to teach people all over the world how to become affiliate marketers. And that's why my wife, Lauren, and I, we established Affiliate Marketing Pros last year and uh, have just been growing it personally again uh, over the last year. And then about, about three months ago now, we officially launched our own affiliate program for affiliate marketing pros, which was always the plan. But we're really excited about that because uh, now our members who have learned how to become affiliate marketers are now affiliate marketers for affiliate marketing pros. And we're now just exploding in an even bigger way. And Kimberly knows because she knew I was busy before, but now it's, I'm even busier because I've just got so many different things firing at once. But that's the beauty of the internet, right, Kimberly? We can do, we can look like we're, we're running 8 million different companies and still have time to actually go to sleep at night. Yeah, absolutely. And we do, but, but you are focused now on the things you loved doing, right? And not necessarily focused on other things. And I want to camp on to what Michael said here, because absolutely it is really awesome to be able to launch a business in your own name. The problem with that is that if you ever want to grow that business to the point where you sell it or you, you move out of it in some way and you're not the head, the figurehead of it anymore, it's very, very difficult to transfer something that is in your own name. Uh, so being able to transfer to AMP or Affiliate Marketing Pros is a, yeah. is a really, really smart move for legacy reasons, if nothing else. Yep, absolutely. And that was one of the big reasons for doing it. But it was also we really wanted to give people a sense of pride in being a member of AMP. And Lauren came up with the name and I love how she just tied it all into amping up your life, amping up your income, amping up your energy. 
amping up your relationships. I mean, there's just so many different benefits um, because Kimberly, as you know, there's a lot about, you know, what we teach and mentor and coach other people on that goes way beyond just how to run a business or how to market a business. We get into the mindset of business and the mindset of human to human connections and, and how to build those relationships long term because, you know, we don't teach people just to make, you know, a thousand, ten thousand, fifty thousand dollars in a couple of months and then disappear because you didn't create a sustainable business model. Uh, at AMP, we are all about teaching people how to build a sustainable long term business that they can grow to whatever size they want to scale it. And I've got some members that, you know, are happy making an extra thousand to two thousand dollars a month because it helps supplement their income. Um, and I've got other members that are scaling it much bigger than that and they're going on to make 10, 15, 20, $25,000 a month in revenue through the affiliate marketing model. And so I love it because it really can be catered to whatever, you, whatever your goals are, your ambitions are, your uh, stamina is to really dig in and make it your own. Uh, you can really scale it just by layering on more and more income streams. Awesome. Um, we actually have a question in the chat. Is it okay if I take a question for you? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So Scott has asked, what do you guys think the best way to gain third party validation is? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, one thing you can do is collaboration. I always teach less competition, more collaboration. And the more you can collaborate with your peers, the more you can find those third party validations for your products and services. It's kind of like, you know, I'll scratch your back if you scratch my back. Now, what I don't recommend is you doing something like, hey, will you buy my product if I buy your product? No, don't do That's that. That's kind of a dead end. It, it makes wow. you feel good for a few minutes, but then really all you did is exchange money and there's really nothing gained there. Yeah. If, if your product is valuable, stand on the value of your product, but reach out to other people that might be appear to you like-minded, might even have a similar business, even a similar product and say, hey, let's do something together. Let's do a Facebook Live together. Let's do an email blast. I'll, you know, I'll, blast your product out to my email list. If you blast, you know, my product out to your email list. And when you do that, even exchange of promotions rather than just a, you know, a product swap is all you're really doing. Um, if you just say, I'll buy yours, if you buy mine, then you can actually build something where you're giving something, you're getting something and it can go beyond. So leveraging other people's audiences is a great way. If you're just starting out to scale big, very quickly. Yep, I agree with that for sure. Um, you're actually really big in YouTube as well, is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In fact, um, in 2016, I, I had a YouTube channel for a while, but I wasn't really leveraging it very much. And I sat there for way too long saying, if only I knew how to rank videos on YouTube, then I would be able to generate a lot of traffic and uh, passively. Because a lot of people think passive income, but before you think passive income, you got to think passive traffic, passive leads, passive oh. eyeballs on your offers. Uh, that will then lead to passive sales. And obviously it's a numbers game at the end of the day and you gotta think how many passive leads do I need to generate ongoing in order to generate X amount of passive income. And you know, there's, there's traffic you can purchase from you know, valid sources, trusted sources, you can purchase traffic. But the beauty of video and YouTube videos and the reason I knew it was gonna be the way that I wanted to go is there's two things you do through video. You build trust, you build relationships, and you can sell your product without selling your product. And that's the beauty of video, and especially YouTube videos, because you can just record a video doing a review, and that's the beauty, again, of affiliate marketing, is you can do a review on somebody else's product, give that third-party validation to the other company's product or service, and then through that, give people incentive to purchase that said product or service through the link in the description of the video. And you've heard plenty of YouTubers say that, uh, including mine, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos, and then you're generating traffic, but you're generating traffic and you're selling the product, giving validation to the product and giving incentive for them to purchase it through your link, uh, if you're doing it correctly, all not on your time, on the consumer's time. Got it. Yeah. And that's the beauty of that video method of marketing. All right. So when you're doing your YouTube, you're actually doing reviews of products and those are products that you're affiliating. 
Yes. Yeah. To a certain extent, um, you know, they're not the traditional review video where you're going in there and just, you know, giving a, a, a bland review. It's, it's a mix of passion and energy and facts and telling the good and the bad. And that's something I always try to balance. I don't just go give a glowing review of a product, just giving a five-star raving review about something. I just let people understand and know, hey, this is the reason uh, I think that this is a great product or service. Now there's, and let me make a distinction here in terms of the two types of affiliate marketers there are. There are some affiliate marketers that are, you know, their whole focus, and it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not something that keeps me going day in and day out. There's a lot of affiliate marketers that just slam a bunch of traffic to tons and tons of products and just see what sticks. And it's, it really is just a numbers game at the end of the day. They just analyze numbers all day and they're looking, okay, I've said, sent X amount of traffic, I've made X amount of sales, I've had X amount of refunds, I've had X amount of chargebacks, and this is what I'm left over with at the end of the day. And that's because they really are only worried about sending traffic to convert high converting uh, affiliate offers. And all they're concerned about at the end of the day is their uh, EPC or their cost per earnings or the cost per clicks or all the other matrix that they have to analyze. And they're talking about, you know, I'm, I earned $2.20 per click that I paid for at $1.21. Therefore, my profit is X. That doesn't get me excited when I wake up in the morning. Um, so what I teach is a more uh, human connected affiliate marketing model where you're marketing products and services that are genuinely going to help somebody. It's going to better their lives, going to empower them in some way, give them better, you know, life as a whole in various levels. Uh, those are the type of products and services that I like to market. So when I'm doing my videos, I'm really talking about how different products and services are going to impact people's lives if done properly, if leveraged properly, beyond just the money that can be generated. And so that's really my focus in what we teach in Affiliate Marketing Pros is, hey, how can you leverage video to help a bunch of people and make a bunch of money in the process and feel more fulfilled at the end of the day? I like it. And the affiliate marketing is really a triple win. It's a win for you because you're making affiliate commissions. It's a win for the person who's promoting their, whose program you're promoting because right. that party credibility is huge and they can't do it all themselves. They need to be able to leverage other people as well to get the word out about who they are and what they do. And then third, it's a win for the audience as well because they're actually getting served with your review of it and your endorsement of it and your research of it. But then also the actual product itself is or service itself is of value to them. So right. it's a win, 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 which is the kind of deal I always like to make if it's a win for everybody and it's not, you know, somebody's getting the short end of the stick. So I love the way you show up in the world and you are a very giving soul. As a matter of fact, you actually have a, you, a, a Facebook group that we talked about last time. Yep. Would you share a little bit about your Facebook group, which is balls, by the way? Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I love my Facebook group. It was something I committed to uh, the end of last year to really doing. It was part of my bigger picture of AMP. I've got a, a private group called AMP Stars, and those are my affiliate marketing professionals who are my stars, and they're out there, and they're dedicated, and they're committed to building whatever business they want to build within the affiliate marketing world. But inside of the AMP Stars Facebook group, I go live daily, Monday through Friday, giving my daily action steps, telling people what I'm focused on that day, giving a little bit of instruction, giving a little bit of homework, uh, and then giving people actionable items that they can then go out and implement every single day because the biggest killer of any business growth is lack of consistency. And so keeping people consistent on a daily basis, I found we've had 10x, 20x more production in people in a shorter period of time when we help them stay consistent. But it's consistent in little chunks, right? So you may feel overwhelmed, like, oh, I do want to start this affiliate marketing thing. And then you get into it and you're like, I don't, I don't know what to do first. Right. I don't know what to do next. And then Michael's Facebook group is like, today, this is what I'm doing. This is your homework for tonight. Do this and I'll see you tomorrow. You know, it's like awesome because it's a little chunk that you can accomplish. How long is your homework usually? Like, I mean, if you were to say, like, if you came into the Facebook group, listen to it, it's real short, isn't it? Yeah, they're... They're 10 to 15 minutes usually are, are my Facebook lives, depending on the content. Sometimes when I'm actually in a, doing a screen share and giving some action steps on maybe a piece of software that we leverage, it might be 20 minutes long, but I try to keep them short because I want them very digestible. 
Uh, and then, you know, people have the next 24 hours to do the homework. And sometimes it might just be a couple of minutes. Sometimes it's a mindset thing, thing. And I'm asking them to kind of focus their mind on something different for the next 24 hours and see what shifts in their life. If you're focused on this instead of that. I mean, it, it like I said, it goes way beyond just, hey, click this button, click this button, and then write this email or do this Facebook live. It's, it's okay, what's, what's wrong in your emotions today that we need to work on? Because I'm dealing with something. Let me share that with you, be vulnerable with you, share something that I'm dealing with. And how about we all see if we focused on that? And, and it's amazing what happens when several hundred, if not a thousand people focus on a better thing just for 24 hours. Now you see why I love him, right? Because amazing. It's exactly right. Because sometimes it's just a shift in your own mindset. Uh, you might have a money block. You might have a, a possibility block. You might have a, any, any manner of blocks like, oh, I just, I can't do that. Or it's just overwhelming or whatever. And a mindset shift sometimes is all it takes in order to get you to the next level and to have somebody really help you trigger that in your own mind and face, like, is this something that I can overcome? And, and what if I just focus on this just for today, just for 24 hours, what will happen? What will change in my life? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So now this Facebook group, it's worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And, and, um, and I, I really, I'm joking because I, I really think you're undercharging for this. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to put the link in the chat about, um, about your thing. And as a matter of fact, you're giving us a, a free trial of it as yes. well. Is that right? Yep, absolutely. Okay. So everybody that's on here is watching this. You guys get a 14 day free trial. You go to the link that she just posted in there, 14 day free trial to not only my affiliate marketing pros membership website, where you can start leveraging and learning my exact strategy, how I rank my videos on YouTube on the first page of YouTube for most competitive keywords within about, uh, six minutes to maybe an hour uh, is what I do in there. And I teach you exactly what I do uh, and how I do it and the, the services that I employ to actually get that done. Um, but you get access to all that, but then you also get the free trial to my private Amstars Facebook group where you'll be able to, you know, digest 14 days. You know, I go Monday through Friday. So you're going to get about 10 live Facebooks from me daily and, and you're going to get access to all the replays. So if you want to digest all, I think there's, I don't know, 78 some so far Too many. this year, you guys can go digest those in two weeks and consume it all for free. Or you can just start taking oh, them yeah. in chunks yeah. and stay for longer than two weeks. And you're going to pay a whopping $20 a month to stay in there. Okay, so it's like 20 videos for $20 a month. It's like ridiculous. And it's live too, right? You're doing them actually live. So when, when he logs on, it's just absolutely amazing. And you guys would be crazy not to at least try the 14-day trial. You're going to fall in love with Michael just like I did and his wife because she's on there often too. Is that right? Yep. Yep. yep, Lauren's in there too. And that's very vulnerable, and very heart centered, very, uh, you know, very honest and open about what's going on in their life, where their blocks are, where their, uh, where their accomplishments are, where their successes are, and what they're dealing with, with COVID and everything else, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been a very interesting last couple of months. And uh, we've just been, you know, even the fact that my parents have been quarantined with us for the last almost three months now, because they live in Japan, they've been here. Uh, they're actually leaving, I think, tomorrow to go on to spend some time with my sister and uh, brother who live in different parts of the United States, but uh, they're, they're going to hit the road tomorrow. Right? You can't go back to Japan yet? I think no, you can't travel. go back to Japan yet. Yeah, they can't go back yet. Um, so they're going to they're gonna go on the road here for a little bit. But it's, you know, it, life is life and it happens in different ways for different people. And what I never try to do is fit any one person into a particular box. Mm. It just, it. And what's interesting, Kimberly, is a lot of people think that they need to fit into somebody else's box to be successful. Yeah. And that just is not, usually doesn't work out in the long, because you can only try to fit in somebody else's box for a short period of time until you either get cramped or claustrophobic, or you're going to break out and revert back to your own box. Um, and so what I do is I, I don't teach people to stay in their box. I teach people to create a new box, reinvent themselves figure out who they are. Um, sure, you can, you know, you model somebody else, you can figure out, you know, what somebody else is doing. But at the end of the day, until you adopt strategies for yourself, marketing methods for yourself, uh, Kimberly, you've done a great job of that in terms of everything that you've learned through different mentors online and what you've taught yourself and made it your own on some level. You don't do everything exactly the way whoever you learned it from did it either. And, and so, if you, don't, if you don't figure out who it is for you, exactly, it's, it's just not going to last. 
and Michael learned this about me, like on our first night where we were chatting and, and learning about each other's businesses. And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to do that. I, I kind of want to do this. And he's like, actually, and then we started talking and I was, and then all of a sudden, boom, it came together. You know, it wasn't a box. It was just, and Michael's totally honest about that. You know, it's, it's not about putting people in boxes. It's not about, I'm sure my one package will fit everybody. Um, but he is a very, I, what I can tell you is that he's very hard forward. He's, he's more, he always over delivers and under promises promises. And when you, when you start engaging with Michael, you're going to just be amazed at the value that you get and, and how open and honest he is with his experiences and also his incredible deep level of knowledge about affiliate marketing. Absolutely phenomenal. One of the best people in the industry that I've met. And we just happened to meet one night on the cruise, which was uh, fortuitous, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I mean, it's the collaboration that we continue to build on from them from that time without ever really necessarily exchanging tons of money. It's, it's the, it's the okay. empowerment that we've been able to help other people with. I mean, the people that you've sent me from the last web summit that have come in and have learned something and gained knowledge. I know that some of those people actually already are going back and they're marketing your programs and products even more because they learned how to market it a little bit better because they came over to amp and got a little amped up and now they're going back and marketing Kimberly's products and services and web summit. So it, you know, it all goes around, uh, either in a good way or a bad way. And I just prefer to stay on the good side rather than the bad side ever. Totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. All right. So now you actually do have a downloadable for our folks, or it's not really a downloadable. It's this, this YouTube mastery thing on the back right. end. The YouTube so mastery. So every, every uh, several months I do a YouTube mastery webinar where I teach a little bit deeper level uh, website. You don't have to know anything about YouTube marketing at all. I just go a little bit deeper into teaching firsthand live my YouTube strategies to help people really get a better grasp of it and understand how to generate that passive uh, income from YouTube. Because anytime I upload a video to YouTube, and I, I don't do it that often, people think like, oh, you must be uploading daily or at least you know five videos a week or something. And I look and I think, I think I upload maybe twice a month to YouTube wow. with videos. Okay. Right. And so for me, it's, it's more about the placement of that video and generating a lot of traffic to those you know, couple of videos per month that get uploaded. Versus, you know, uploading, uh, say, 30 videos that have 100 views each. I like to upload two videos that get 30,000 views each. And that would be nice. I, I, I have almost 30,000 on mine. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm helping Kimberly out. I actually, I, we got to dig a little deeper. How do you get 30,000 views on a single YouTube video? That's awesome. Well, there's two, two things. One is content. Content is still king on YouTube. And if you don't have good content, and here's the thing, you could have good content, but if you're missing the second piece of it, you're not, it, it doesn't matter how good your content is. It could be, you know, it could be a private lesson with the Dalai Lama. If that content isn't positioned to where people are going to find it, you still will not get views on that video. So it really comes down to making your video look popular before YouTube sees it is the key. In fact, you know, we got a couple minutes here. I could give you guys just one strategy that is, you know, most yes. people don't know about on how YouTube works. Yes, that would be awesome. Awesome. We're getting on the back end of all of how this works. Um, you guys are amazing for being here live. Um, I know that we have uh, a ton of you guys out there. We're super excited that, that if you're watching this as a replay, you don't get to interact in the live uh, conversation, but we're super excited for the people that are live. Put your questions in for Michael if you have them. Uh, as a resource it's available to you for questions and answers we need to take advantage when we can um, and you can certainly interact with him in his Facebook group and uh, by getting his download uh, but while he's here live we need to take advantage so ask your questions about YouTube YouTube mastery affiliate marketing affiliate marketing pros his YouTube channel whatever you've got throw it in the chat box and we'll answer it if we can all right with that said go ahead tell us our little tip on YouTube all right. Well, Kimberly, close your ears because I just noticed you uploaded a bunch of videos to your YouTube channel. So um, this only works if the video has not been made public on YouTube yet. So just know this for future videos. The key with YouTube is that you need to look like the popular kid when you first show up for the first day of school. So that's, and that's how you have to view your video. This video is just going live on YouTube and nobody knows it, but everybody is going to see it. 
And you have to really look at YouTube as the ultimate critic of your YouTube video. And if you show up on the first day of school as the unpopular kid that nobody wants to talk to, that has no comment bubbles above your head and no like numbers above your head and, and the, the view count is negative too, YouTube, the ultimate critic, is going to look at you in the first 24 to 40 hours and says, nobody look at that kid. Nobody talk to that kid. That kid is the unpopular kid. You need to talk to these popular kids over here because they're that the cool kids. That is not nice. I do not like this analogy at all. I, I told you to close your ears. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael's right because we actually did upload all of the, ch the, uh, the interviews with our uh, Web Summit speakers in the last 24 to 48 hours and we made them all public right away so people could watch them as they were going. But you're absolutely right. One great strategy I have heard correct me if I'm wrong, is to make them unpublished and then have them like get likes and views first and then publish them. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah. So in 2016, when I knew nothing about videos, I did some research and about the YouTube algorithm. And that wasn't something that I learned from any way place. I don't know of anybody that was teaching it back in 2016. I've openly taught it since then in my private groups and in my membership groups to a lot of people that have gone on to really dominate in YouTube a lot. But that's exactly right. So when you upload your video, if you upload it as unlisted instead of public, that will give you a chance to get the video some views, get it some likes, get it some shares, get it some comments before you make it public and you, you wait until you get those views, you get those likes, you get those shares. Because in the unlisted state, anybody can watch it that has the direct link to that video. So if you post it on your Facebook wall, if you message it to people, if you blast it out to your email list, there's a lot of different organic ways that you can get views and likes and shares on that video. Of course, it's difficult to do that because most people are just so eager and excited to get that video up on YouTube you know, so that their friend YouTube will show it to all the people around the world, uh, only to find out that they were the unpopular kid when they went public on YouTube and uh, get essentially blacklisted on YouTube because it didn't get, you know, you didn't get enough views, you didn't get enough comments, you need to get enough likes in that first 24 to 48 hours. That's all right. So all of you now need to go to my YouTube channel, which is Entrepreneur's Rocket Fuel, and go like and comment on all of them. Otherwise, I will be the sad, depressed kid in the back, like that nobody wants to sit down and have lunch with. And I don't want to be that kid. No. Well, that's probably no. why I don't have 30,000 views on a single video is probably why. Well, and it's just, it's, it's something a lot of people don't know. And it's, it's the reason why new creators on YouTube struggle for such a long time because the algorithm is really designed against newbie YouTubers. And, and I struggled with that for many years too. And that's why I got discouraged because I just thought this just doesn't work. I'll public, publish a great video. I'll, I'll do all the keyword optimization. I'll do the tags and descriptions and titles and thumbnails and everything. And my video still after six months has 200 views. And I check my link tracking and the link has maybe three clicks on it. And it just, and, and literally the first video I ever employed this strategy and I basically just took information from about seven different store, uh, sources, made my own box and then employed my own strategy that I kind of pieced together Frankenstein style from a, a lot of different strategies and, and information I gathered. And the first video that I ever published on an unknown affiliate program back then, uh, it's still making my team and I a lot of money to this day, four years later as an affiliate program. Uh, that was in 2016. I published a YouTube video and today that video has almost 100,000 views and is still making sales today, four years later. All right. 2020. Well, fantastic. And we, got, we have some questions in the chat. Um, how do I market effectively with SEO on YouTube? Uh, so SEO is a little bit, I mean, you can get backlinks to your YouTube videos. You can, you know, What's social back? backlink what'd you say what's a backlink i don't know what a backlink. a backlink is any link that is pointing back to your website youtube videos social post anything so it's essentially your url to your specific content on the internet that is posted on another website another social platform another video anywhere that is not native to where that content is okay say that uh, so give me an example of that so an example would be, say for instance, your YouTube video has a specific URL to it, right? So your, the link that goes directly to your video, if that link was posted even on your own website that you own, not on YouTube, that link posted on another website, 
or post it even on your Facebook page is linking back to that YouTube video. So okay. it's essentially any link that is posted on another website other than the content that it's originated on. Okay. So it would be even like this Web Summit link, if it was posted on Facebook, that's technically a backlink to the content. Okay. Got it. All right. So, and that's, that's one of the basics of SEO, uh, but it does take a lot of volume usually. It takes a lot of volume. So you're better off actually relying, especially on YouTube, you're better off relying on YouTube to suggest your videos and YouTube to rank your videos on the first page based on keyword searching, rather than trying to wait and hope that Google will index your video based on the amount of backlinks, because you're talking about thousands and thousands of backlinks necessary to really rank, especially anything that's worthwhile or competitive. Okay, so um, to get those rankings and to get YouTube to recommend them, that is in the tags and in the title, is that right? Or is it it's other in the ways? popularity of your video? Okay, it's so not a popularity in like contest. Okay, so the tags, um, th do the tags get you popular? They used to get you a lot more popular a lot faster, but because there's so much more competition out there now, YouTube puts very little weight on the tags or the keywords that you put into your video. They, they still matter. Uh, it, it actually matters more how many times you say your targeted keywords or tags in your video because YouTube will transcribe your video automatically and then they look to see, are you saying those keywords in your videos? How often are you seeing them? But then at the end of the day, back to popularity contest, if they see that 100 people watched your video but they left in the first one minute, they're gonna say, who cares that those keywords or tags are in there? The people clearly didn't find what they were looking for, at least didn't find you know, it engaging enough to stay past the first one minute. Uh, so it comes down to view time on the video itself. The reason, you know, there's a lot that I teach about in my YouTube course about keeping people engaged and the, you know, the buildup and the climax of your content and doing that maybe two or three times in your video to keep them engaged throughout the video. And that's what will get them to then go on and, you know, have YouTube recommend your video after they've gone through the first video. All right. Tough question from the audience. How do you effectively use YouTube videos if you don't want to be on camera? It, you know, that's a really tough one. And there are actually people out there that are marketing courses that say, you know, hey, you know, sell a bunch of products, make a bunch of money through YouTube and never put yourself on camera. It is totally possible. But it, to me, it really depends on the type of content that you're teaching or trying to sell. If it's something that, that people really want to hear and get a human connection or human reference to it, it's going to be very difficult for you just to do, say, a voiceover video on something or hire a, you know, somebody off Fiverr to do the video for you and maintain some type of a personal connection. Because I know for a fact, a lot of the products and services that I market uh, and that I teach my team to market, people are looking for another human being to actually purchase that product from, not just some video that has even the right information in it. But at the end of the day, they're looking for another human being that they are know, like, and trust even to a small amount, even if it's only a few minutes in, that's gonna create that connection. So my answer to that really is, is possible, but it really is dependent on the product or service that you're selling. And it's just a matter of, uh, I would say the best answer is if you can do something in a screen share fashion where you're just using you know, a, a snippet tool or screen flow or some type of program where you can record your screen and talk at the same time, that's probably the most effective way to record a video educate, you know, tell people how to do something and then give some kind of call to action for them to purchase from the link in the description. Still your voice, maybe you even hire that out at that point, but you don't have to show your face. All right. Um, okay. So what are some of your more popular YouTube videos with regard to affiliate marketing? Um, the ones that teach people how to make money. <laughs> right. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the most honest answer is I, I have videos that teach people Hey, this program is making our team X amount of dollars and these are the systems that we're employing to get it done. Uh, a few of the most recent ones, uh, I developed and launched a program about a month ago called Amplified Profits, which basically takes three programs, blends them together and markets them together. So you're, you're I basically do what I do on a professional level where I have layered affiliate income, mm. put a marketing system together. So now I have a lot of people that are searching for YouTube videos 
on that marketing system because they know that marketing system, if they employ that marketing system, then they will be able to monetize it on many different levels and allow my videos and my sales strategies to do all the selling and the telling for them. And then even on the back end, I have a training program that then helps people get up and running. So, you know, that's what really attracted you to being a part of a lot of stuff I'm doing is those systems on the back end, uh, employing those. And, and things are constantly shifting and changing. And, and I do that on a daily basis and shift and change and, and figure out what's working, what's not working. So those kind of videos really do well. If you can educate people on how to do something, but then I'll give you one more gold nugget here that took me a while to learn. Educational videos are awesome. People love to watch educational videos. Showing people how to overcome their objections, giving them answers to their questions is actually what's going to create the conversion. Education will sell, but overcoming those objections, and I call them overcoming objections because at the end of the day, if, somebody, if you give somebody a phenomenal sales presentation and at the end they say, oh, I've got questions. How, what if this happens or what if that happens or how do I file taxes on you know, self-employment stuff? Those have nothing to do with your program. They're just things that cause people to stop in their track from hitting that buy now button. So if you can do videos, not just on educating, but on overcoming the standard questions that people ask, that's when you'll actually convert that traffic into sales. Okay. Great tips, really, really great tips. Um, we had a, a question early on and we, uh, you know, it's sort of basic, but maybe you have a, a good tip for us as we kind of round out the night. Um, one of our anonymous attendees said, how do I get into marketing? So maybe we just take it back to the very first step. Like what's the first step somebody can take to get into affiliate marketing? The, the, the first step really is to get around other people that are already doing affiliate marketing, people that are doing it day in and day out. That's one of the reasons I put together AMP is because it's just a group of people. I mean, the, the other people you're going to meet in there, like not everybody just comes in there and learns from me. I've got a bunch of people in there that do great affiliate marketing on different levels. So just surround yourself with other people that are already doing what you want to become successful at. And the longer you're around them, the more you're exposed to how they work and you watch them on Facebook and you see how they operate, you're gonna learn the real inside view of what it takes to actually become successful on whatever level you're wanting to become successful at. So that would be my answer is if you wanna really start to learn affiliate marketing, you could go look, you know, look on YouTube for how to do affiliate marketing. You're gonna find a lot of different courses out there. There's a lot of great ones out there that you can learn from. But at the end of the day, I would recommend getting around people that are actively doing affiliate marketing and slowly start to digest that information over time until you're like, okay, I get it now. It makes sense. Then you'll have the confidence to actually go out, execute the strategies and start generating the income that you want to generate. All right. Awesome. I love the way you show up in the world, Michael. You know that we have a, a lot of fun together. There's a lot of really good stuff that you have to bring to the table. I'm excited. Um, if you guys have liked what you've seen, definitely share it with other folks um, and pick up the, uh, the free gift that is really just how to do YouTube videos in a bigger way and make them as successful as possible. Plus, you can join his 14 day free trial in the Facebook group, which I highly recommend that you don't just stay for 14 days. I mean, go ahead if you want to, but you're going to fall in love with him just like I did. And you're going to want to stay. And for 20 bucks a month to have somebody give you little chunks every day of something to do is a phenomenal opportunity. So thanks for making that available to our audience. I really appreciate that. And yep, yep. Uh, I know that you're not increasing your price just yet. Don't do that just yet until our people join. Um, yep. And then I think it's worth a whole lot more than 20 bucks a month. So I hope you guys will join that and enjoy uh, learning from Michael about affiliate marketing and join some of his programs. You've got a lot of programs that you're endorsing right now. Um, I know the HEAL program is a very large one that you're active in and there's a couple others as well. Um, thanks so much. Uh, any shout outs, any final words before we go? I would just say that whatever you're pursuing to do, make sure that you do it with your whole heart. Don't, you know, pick one or two that you're really, really thinking like, you know what, if I just focused on this, gave it some concentrated attention for the next 30 days, uh, I would really be happy or fulfilled and, and figure out why you're doing that. Um, so I would just encourage that. I see too many people just so distracted and all over the place trying to chase so many different uh, directions right now. The internet is extremely, extremely lucrative. 
if you can concentrate your energy and your efforts in one direction at a time. I didn't build multiple layers of incomes and the ability to monetize my YouTube videos in seven to 10 different ways every time I publish a YouTube video overnight. It was a progression, it was a scaling of my businesses. So pick one or two to start with. Um, come join us inside of AMP. In fact, I'm gonna do my AMP daily for my group here in about an hour uh, today. And so, you know, just get, just get around to other people that are doing what you wanna do and you'll be amazed at what you can do on your own. Don't underestimate yourself. Awesome, I love it. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for being here, I really appreciate it. All right, and uh, love to your amazing wife as well. And we will see you guys all up at the top of the hour. We have another amazing speaker, Melody Meyer is gonna come talk about how to get royalty income from the book that you've always been meaning to write. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. Oh, I've almost finished with my book. 90% mm -hmm, done, it's not done. All right, Melody's gonna talk to us about how to get it all the way done in 60 days or less and then reap royalties from it from then on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you back at the top of the hour. Thanks, Michael. We'll dance our way out of here. Cheers, guys. We'll see you Bye. next that was an amazing expert. We're here with Kimberly, who is the rocket fuel for entrepreneurs. She's on a mission to help you launch your business to new heights. Nobody lives out loud better than Kimberly.